Hey everyone and welcome to this Wi-Fi battle I have here. I used I was a Wi-Fi battle I had quite a while ago versus Septile MC. Make sure you check him out. His channel will be in the description down below. But I'm not going to be talking about the battle too much because this is going to be more of a question video for you guys because obviously a lot of you guys like Wi-Fi battling, a lot of you guys like showdown battling, whatever kind of battling, VGC, NURU, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but I want I do enjoy battling, I play showdown a lot, many of you know that. So what kind of battling do you guys want to see represented on the channel? Do you guys want to see some showdown sessions? If you want to see showdown sessions, what kind of tier do you want to see? Uh, I want to do Wi-Fi battling because I just bought a dongle so I can actually start genning my Pokemon onto there. That was the main that was the main reason why the Wi-Fi battle stopped in the first place, but now I have it again, so do you guys want to see the Wi-Fi battles? And if you want to see the Wi-Fi battles, do you want them to be post-commentated like this one would be? <laughs> or do you want to see them commentated live? If they're commentated live, it might be it might not be uploaded as quickly. But if they're commentated post com then I could probably get them up whenever because I would I'd easily be able to just like sit down and just do a battle because I wouldn't have to get all my recording stuff ready for it and whatever and I could record it later on. But if you want to want to see live battles and think that's more entertaining, then that's what you guys want to see. Also, we did used to have a uh, battle spot series on this channel that again <laughs> I used to do, but when <laughs> <coughs> sorry when I had to stop or when I couldn't gen my Pokemon anymore, uh, that series had to stop because I couldn't gen Pokemon, so I didn't have enough Pokemon for the series. But now that I have it again, would you guys want to see this? Battle Spot series restart. I know not. I know some of you don't like the Battle Spot. Some of you just think it's a bit boring and like because it's only three v three and you only see the same Pokemon. You see Talon Flames and Greninjas and all that kind of usual stuff. But this is your chance to have your input on the channel and say what kind of battling you want. So you can either see Showdown battling. If you want to see Showdown battling, what kind of tiers do you want to see? You can have Wi-Fi battles, do you want it to be live commentated or post commentated? Or you can have or and you can have the Battle Spot series and there's not much option with that really. So yeah, have your input in the comments down below. Tell me what you guys want to see. Obviously the more votes something gets, the more chance of me doing it. If like one person says they want to see me do showdown, then there isn't much chance of me doing showdown. But if like a lot of you say showdown then there's more chance of it coming up so really make sure you comment on this video to have your <coughs> <coughs> make sure you comment on this video to have your input still sick can't believe it let me just have a sip of my water and then I'll get started actually commentating the battle so this was a mixed tier battle I just grabbed any six Pokemon that I had in my box and he done the same this was really back and forth like it was a really fun battle at the moment we have the Swampert and Torterra in there and earlier on I lost the Nido King, which really annoyed me. He missed the Leech Seed, which is good, so I go for the Raw. The Sceptile comes back in, that was not good at all. I was hoping maybe for the Chandelure, because there's an Energy Ball would have been really obvious. But he switches, I have to switch out here, <laughs> I can't stay in. Go out into NVIDIA, NVIDIA is just like a special tank for the ages. It's just like, you know, takes it the hits all day, we all know what Porygon 2 is like. He takes out the Sceptile, it's not going to be able to touch Porygon 2. Go for the try attack that was a good play by him. Going into the Chandelure. Go out into my Destroyer. This kind of screwed me this bit. He goes for the Fire Blast. I'm thinking, okay, that's fine. I got my special defense up because of the Sandstorm. I get burned. Who gets burned off Fire Blast? What kind of BS is that? So I got burned on Fire Blast. So I was just thinking, great. Well, now this Tyranitar is useless. Absolutely 100% useless. So I just decided to keep it in and go for the crunch. He goes into the Whizcash. As he's going to start trying to set up these dragon dances. But I did get the defense drop on crunch, which is pretty good. So even though I'm burned, it's not too much of an issue. He has to withdraw because another crunch would probably kill him. Or <coughs> do decent damage again. <coughs> I go for the Earthquake. That was a good play by him going out into the Sceptile. Doesn't take much of the hit. Does get buffeted by the Sandstorm as I'm hurt by my burn. Again, at this point, I just wanted... Tyranitar to go down just to get rid of it. The Sceptile is back up to the green health, but it is life orb, and it's going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm again, so that wasn't too much of an issue. I got into my Emo Fringe. This Star Raptor was Choice Scarfed, I think. It, yeah, it's Choice Scarfed Star Raptor. 
as I go for the Brave Bird on the Torterra. And no Torterra is going to take a Reckless Brave Bird from a Star Raptor. No way, Jose. Not unless it has a Reflect to take big damage. My big mistake was letting. Was. I think it was. No, it wasn't here. It was later on. You guys get to wait for that. That was a big mistake I made. I got into Swampert though. He does the double switch though. Goes out into the Sceptile. Really wish I would have just gone for the Brave Bird. Because that probably would have taken Crocodile out. And then that Sceptile would have been gone. It would have been so nice to get rid of it. I have to switch out again here. Go back into the Emo Fringe. He goes for the Giga Drain. Not going to do too much. But it's resisted. But I am still, you know. It's still a Sceptile as Life Orb. He's going to withdraw the Sceptile. Pretty sure this is where, yeah, this is where I messed up. I went for the Brave Bird. Should have gone for the U-Turn. Whiskash went down. But then, of course, so the Star Raptor. I really needed Star Raptor to take out that Sceptile. Really needed it, especially with Nido King down. So he goes out to Chandelure. All Shan or most Chandelures carry an Energy Ball, so I have to switch out here. Go out to Tinfoil. This is a weakness policy, Metagross. But a lot of his team, like, it didn't take that energy ball well at all. At all. He switches out here, goes out into his Crocodile. I'll go for the Agility. Because I was thinking maybe he's going to go for a Fire Blast and maybe I could take it. Earthquake from Crook, though, is going to take me out. Not even going to get a chance to activate the Weakness Policy. And this Crocodile was Scarfed as well. So it's Moxie Scarf Crocodile. Which is so, 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 so strong. So strong. Took down my physically defensive Swampert to like half health. Gonna get the leftovers back here. But he is still just gonna stay in, go for the Earthquake again, get these Moxie boosts up. I survived with two HP though to prevent the Crocodile sweep. Which was like happy days are here again. Get my leftovers back. The Swampert's pretty much dead at this point. He goes for the Giga Drain. He's not going to get much health back anyway. Because the life corpse is just going to take him down. He probably done more damage to himself than he got back. Yeah, he did. But he still took out my Swampert. I have to go into Porygon here. Goes for the Focus Blast. Lands it. Not bothered. He loses health. I go for the Recover because I know I can just keep taking hits. Want to get myself back up. Waiting for the Focus Miss. There it was. At this point, I was dancing around a little bit. I was thinking maybe Porygon 2 can go all the way. And he lands the never focus blast. If he missed that focus blast, maybe I would have been able to win. Maybe. It depends if Porygon 2 could take a I, what I assume would probably be choice specs overheat from a chandelier, which I don't think it could. But anyway, that was a fun battle. Thank you, Septile, for that. Check his channel in the description below and make sure you answer the question. Till then, guys, take care.